Hey guys, it's Parker here, back with part 18 of Paper Mario, the Origami King. So, yeah, I'm just gonna explore the Great Sea, um, further. Um, I think the toads in the, um, SS Peach says to, like, tell them it's a fog list, so I'm just gonna, like, go there for now, and then we'll continue exploring. Ah, so that's the vessel known as the Prestige House, so so. So I'm gonna like go on toads that uh, hey the fog is lifted so I think you guys can leave now? I'm not sure. Yeah, let me just go over there. Oh, is the fog on? Fantastic! Thanks for letting us know, Mario! Toot toot! We can't go sell it to all the huge holes in the ship have been plugged. This could take a while. Toot. Um... <laughs> Phew! So I said a lot of stuff like that was kicking there was an emergency. I must look at you safe today again, Mario. You know, now that I think about it, I didn't go back to the desert town. Desert town after we saved all the toads. But like, I just just wasn't curious about it at all. That's why I just left that desert area. Cause I was getting kind of sick of the desert. So like, uh, yeah, I I really don't feel like going back to that um desert town. So yeah, just continue on. Now we can pick up our flower passages scattered across the great sea. Once you're back on your adult little ship, we'll head out. Thanks again too. I might not add to Ah, an iconic, familiar club shape. I'll call this one Club Island. Statement. You see, I'm a bit more time spare. I want to get to that rocky spot just past the tall grass. There are too many bad guys. You got time to ask for me there, right? Thanks. No need to answer. Why you silently? Thanks, Mario. You've been a big help. And I know you'll keep being a big help, but make sure my three friends make it out of the grass. Join me. Yay! My three friends are out in the tall grass. Thanks for offering to bring them here. Yay! Wow. What the? This tower is massive. What kind of island is this? A tower standing in the great sea, that's the sea tower, obviously. The purple streamer wraps all the way to the top. This one might be a bit trickier. Wow, it's so tall! My neck hurts just looking at it. 
It's like it's cursing the sky, it stretches up and up and up. And so this purple streamer. I can't wait to climb our way up this thing. Think of all the floors we got to explore. That's probably less exciting when you can't float, but it'll still be fun. Now, how do we climb it? Don't tell me you have to find like three spears, just like in Golden Sun, Dark Dawn. You have to find all the, the freaking spears to like open this door. Hmm, what do you think these three openings are for? Well, I don't have it. So, do I have to, like, go all over the sea and find three spears? Dang it. <laughs> Oh, that squid is like, nope, nope, no. <laughs> Whoa, look at this whale. Cool. No. Squid <laughs> is like, the game has not been made past this point. A hammer floating along among the waves. I'll call it Hammer Island. and fancy hammer the game. Oh. Seeky, a path to paradise. Yeah, that helps me. Sir, let me show you where to fish for some treasure space. Oh. Okay. This one is unmistakably space shaped, we'll call it Spade Island. here. My friends should be able to help. You can find them on this island. Um... <laughs> Whoa! This looks bad. Hey, hot friend, I'm coming! Oh, 
Oh, so is that. Hey, Alfred. Hmm, these swords look important. No idea what they're trying to say, though. They might come in handy, though, so I'll sketch a quick copy. If you want to see the symbols, okay. me. I don't have a reward for you, but I can show you a cool spot to fish for charger out here. Okay. What? My guest is gone. No, the world can see my shame. Oh my god. We won't let our friend be humiliated. Dignity huddle activated. Phew, I suppose the one thing any total really needs is good friends. I'm back at this. For emergency. For emergency purposes. A partial crescent moon to be precise. In that case, we'll name it Crescent Moon Island. like the moon. So when it's shaped like this, it's called a crescent moon? Huh, learn something new every day. do here as the earth elemental. I guess I'll just race out and see what happens. Ready? Okay.
whoa, the crescent moon turned into a full moon. How cool. I mean, uh, I knew that would happen. Sure. Oh, what's in there? Do you think it's valuable? It could be anything. So it's like... You have solved this honest test. The diamond key is now yours. Diamond key? Oh, I don't see a key in here. Is this a letter? Hey, bro. Got the key. Come find me on the mushroom-shaped island, Luigi. Luigi was here first? How in the world did he find this chest? There's something in here. Uh, mushroom handle? Dun, dun. What is this thing? Looks like it fits in your hand pretty well. Those are kind of key. Let my map guide your quest. More weird marks. I still don't know what this is about, but I might as well update my copy to match. Uh, the crescent moon has swelled out to become a full moon. Thus, crescent moon island shall now be known as full moon island. Very creative, I know. Besides this thing, come on, cook it somehow. Where can we do that? The Shaped Egg Heart, I'll call it Heart Island. But I'm not a real heart. Don't let your or heart be troubled by such a thing. Love is all around us. Wow. I think our HP just increased again. Okay. That's definitely a mushroom. Only one choice here. Mushroom Island. Okay, I, I hope I find a saving block soon, if I want to save. Oh my gosh, this whole house is encased in block of ice. Hold the people inside, okay? I 
after days and days of swimming, I made it to this island. My friend and I promised to meet here in case of a huge disaster. I wonder where they are. Like anyone is home. It's clear it's somebody's house. Where do you think they could be hiding? It's just a tiny island. Uh... This door is missing something. Can't quite put my finger on it. Or any part of my hand for that matter. Just something to open it. Do you have a spare handle handy? Uh um this? Fit. Now, if this is the door. doing napping here huh now if you bro I wonder when you finally get here I've been super busy it's a really hard to swim in all worlds you know but now I'm relaxing to the max I burned a break because I finally found a key to Peach's castle Hi. it's not <laughs> cool engraving though oh hey it's the key with a little diamond design on it I'm sure this key to something important but this this is the key to Peach's castle. Luigi. Oh dear sweet Luigi. This still isn't the right key. Oh. What? Wrong again? Ah, I did think it was kind of weird. The key isn't Peach's style at all. I gotta say, you live in such a cute little house, Luigi. Oh, this place is mine. I just got to for an hour. Soon you have to be tucking me out. Now they mention it, I didn't see anyone here when I arrived. I should probably find whoever lives here and thank them for letting me catch a quick nap on their island. <laughs> wow, we just origami everywhere. Whoever lives here must really love Morigami. Oh my gosh, can't believe I forgot. Feels like a lifetime ago. I know request is far from over, but it's good to be home. Home? Yeah, this is, this room is where I was born. I was told to hear about my brother. He's actually a, sk a skilled origami craftsman, you know? He folded me so well that I came to life. That's why I could talk and flow and talk and dance. And talk! Heh. <laughs> Wait a minute, your brother folded you to life, but he's also origami. So, who folded him? I can hear you. I'm trapped in a space between dimensions. <laughs> Help me, please. That voice, someone's here. And they might be the person who folded my brother to life. Is that who lives on this island? You should probably rescue them, right, bro? Why is there no saving block in this freaking area? Can you believe this made entire out of origami? It's so, so amazing! My brother made me here. He folded me into life on this little desk. Check this out, bro. Just a weird book over here. It's too high to reach. I don't think a rare jump is gonna do the trick. Hey, deal. Hit me! Okay. The great turn. Luigi? Yeah. Luigi's such a bro. <laughs> she 
secrets to the fold of life. The fold of life is the ultimate origami technique, capable of giving life to your folded paper creations. Mastery of this technique requires exhaustive training, steady hands, and powerful emotions. Your life for the craft of origami must fill each and every fold for a creation to gain a well of its own. The fold of life? Is that what my brother and I were both folded with? Is that why he and I are both alive? Oh, magic circle. Mario? Wow, we're a celebrity visiting my workshop, and Mario Luigi's here too. I'm the origami craftsman. I live a humble life, folding origami from sun up to sun down every day. I really love origami. You're an origami craftsman? Are you the one who folded my brother? Olivia? Chris, my corners, is that really you? You look just like how I designed you. Who in the world folded you? I want you with Ollie. Ollie. Well, I'm a little fuzzy on the details, but here's what I remember. I see. Ollie, what have you done? You are correct, Olivia. It was I who folded your brother. I wanted to make him truly unique, so he used a secret technique to bring him to life. Ollie was proud and strong, but very angry. He turned on me, trapped me in a realm between light and dark. Which turned out to be just a while, I guess. How embarrassing. I'm guessing he completed you after that, Olivia. It seems he also ran off with my best origami making tools. Excuse me, your origami -ness, but why did you fold Ollie in the first place? I had intended for him to be part of the origami castle as building for the origami festival. Both Ollie the origami king and his sister Olivia were to sit up top as the finishing touches. I don't get to celebrate my craft very often, so I might have gone a bit overboard. I cannot believe that Ollie managed to fold you on up on his own, Olivia. He can use the fold of life origami as the folded origami. It defies the natural order. I'm responsible for all this. I wish I never used that darn fold of life technique. No, origami craftsman! Don't say that really love being alive. I've seen so many beautiful things and made so many new friends and happy memories. If we could just face my brother again, I know we could talk him out of this. We'll convince him to put his anger aside and live peacefully with everyone, hold it or otherwise. Alright, that's that's why we need the key to Peach's castle. What am I doing? I have to find the keys so we can face Ollie. Bye bye everybody. See ya bro. Yeehaw. Hey, there reminds me. What do you think Luigi's diamond key unlocks? His wrong keys always ends up being important, so this is probably a clue to our next stop. It must have something to do with that purple stream of Mario. If we search more at the Great Sea, I'm sure this key will unlock the way forward. Remarkable. Truly remarkable. Your journey with Mario has made you strong, Olivia. And so kind. I may not have folded you myself, but I'm proud of you. I don't know how to stop Ollie. I failed once. I'd only fail again. I ought to leave him to you too. Please, Mario. Keep Olivia safe on your adventures. Okay, let's go stop my brother. Uh, let's get out of here. Wait! And save. I need a save. Take these notes with you, Olivia. I hope they can help you. Is this... Oh my gosh! This... Thank you! Oh, that's so neat. <laughs> okay, Mario, let's get going. I need to find a saving point so I can save my game and end this part. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna return to town. And then, yeah, I'm gonna end. Um, this is where I end part 18 of Paper Mario the Origami King. Thank you so much for watching. And, um, yeah, we'll be back with part 19 and we'll, um, we'll just um, explore the great sea even more and try to use that diamond key somewhere. Okay, bye bye